Hello there my fellow holotape players and welcome to another Assault Battle video guide. So we've already done tier 2 uh, for Fanatical Devotion, that's the Inquisitor Assault Battle without Grand Inquisitor. So if you're interested in that, then my other Assault Battle video guides, they'll be linked in the description below to my Swag of Life uh, website where you can go ahead and check those out. I finally unlocked Grand Inquisitor, which means I am now able to complete Challenge Tier 3 and this is what I'll be covering in uh, this video. If you don't have Grand Inquisitor yet, probably don't bother attempting Tier 3 uh, because, you know, I was trying out last time when I didn't have yet Grand Inquisitor and I was actually able to make it fine, absolutely fine to Wave 5 where you meet Yoda. But Yoda and Shakti, they were just too much without Grand Inquisitor. I wasn't able to keep those guys under control uh, so anyway first i'll cover the mods and as well the key mechanics of the team and how to use them and then obviously show you the gameplay so if you're just interested in the battle you can just skip through using youtube chapters below as always but otherwise let me show you the inquisitor team that i will be running now i would say the main reason why i wasn't able to complete challenge tier 2 with my inquisitors uh, they were all at Relic 5 at that point. It wasn't really the survivability or the damage, but the fact that uh, Yoda was able to steal stealth from 8th brother. Then Yoda goes into stealth and you can't target him and he's very fast and he just keeps stealing stealth over and over again. You have above this spell from 5th brother which helps somewhat but simply not enough. But once you do have Grand Inquisitor, then you can sideline your 8th brother, so Yoda will not be able to hide from your Inquisitors. Now, as you can see, all of my guys here, apart from Second Sisters, are Relic 7. That's because I relic them up for the Riva mission, but even if they're Relic 5, I'm pretty sure this will work pretty much the same. So just give you a quick overview of my modding strategy before I show you all the details is the enemy is very very fast so modding for speed I don't think should be a priority here but Nine Sister just uh, thrown her as much health and protection as you can and then the other guys just mod them for damage office or critical damage because you will not be able simply to uh, uh, outrun those guys anyways so instead you know go for damage so you can finish them off quicker. Uh, so as you can see, my Grand Inquisitor here, uh, as mentioned before, modded for offense uh, as well as speed for secondaries if you can, but definitely focus should be on offense. Uh, then I'll be using his leadership, which gives you lots of extra health and protection. So in total, you get 66 uh, max health and protection for your Inquisitor allies, which is absolutely huge. You also mean to, uh, I guess, ability blocks, which is nice because I think Jedi Guardian got an AO with an ability block that can maybe a little bit cause you some issues. So definitely seems like uh, here a good choice. And on top of it all, whenever a purge is inflicted, you get some stacking stats. Namely, you get 2% critical damage anytime uh, you apply purge on your attackers, maximum 200%. So again, as each wave goes uh, on, goes longer, you will be hitting harder and harder. So definitely good lead there. Now in terms of his basic is very powerful as well because check this out uh, if the enemy has six stacks of purge then Grand Inquisitor will hit them three times if they have three it, he will hit two twice. So the overall strategy will be get six stacks on purge on everybody so then Grand Inquisitor can go to town to them. Another useful thing that Grand Inquisitor brings here is his AoE that applies ability blocks and then dispels debuffs on your guys and heals them up a little bit and equalizes health and protection. Uh, definitely this was a little bit missing I said from the initial uh, Inquisitor team and you don't really have a way to cleanse and on top of it all then he's got a ready to die ability which applies torture which does a lot of things I'm not going to cover everything the thing that you will mostly notice is that uh, whenever you hit somebody with torture on them they will receive uh, bonus damage and you will reduce their defense by 10% stacking maximum of 50. Now falsely torture I think lasts just for one turn and the enemy is fast quickly goes away but sometimes it does help to finish off an enemy or two and he's uh, there unique remember he's basic when there are six stacks of purge the guy will attack them three times well he's unique here when the first time each enemy gets six stacks of purge Grand Inquisitor gets a bonus turn so he'll be able to get a lots of turns but remember just the first time each enemy so let's say an enemy gets purged six times uh, then uh, Grand Inquisitor gets a bonus turn then maybe you cleanse off that purge and you go for the same enemy once that enemy again reaches six stacks of purge there will be no bonus turn so just the first time each enemy gets six stacks of purge but definitely here will be very very nice. 
Uh, and he's unique, well, I really want to highlight the uh, unique abilities that kind of all Inquisitors share the beat that whenever Purge is consumed or dispelled, they will gain 3% uh, turn meter. So just keep spamming those debuff, keep spamming the Purge, and whatever like Shakti cleanses or something like that, or whenever you consume Purge, you'll be getting a little buff bonus turn meter, which will allow you to a little bit keep up with those uh, insane speeds of the enemy. Seven Sister, again, just modding for damage as much as you can, really. And then she's got cool abilities here, obviously here. Enemy Intelligence heals up the target Inquisitor, gives you Foresight, critical damage immunity and all of that. So just adding to survivability to your team. The Shock Prod is nice as well, dispelling buffs and removing turn meter. This can be useful, especially like, you know, keep Yoda under control for a couple of turns. And then from her unique is great as well, uh, because whenever any Inquisitor uses an ability, she will be called to assist. And on top of that, whenever she's assisting, if the target had more than five stacks of purge, she will be inflicting healing immunity on them, which will be very important to stop the healing, especially Kanan in one of the waves, uh, trying to get him down, you know, without healing immunity can be challenging. So definitely wanted to point it out where that healing immunity is coming from. And finally, from her unique there, um, she also has 20% chance to gain 100% turn meter whenever your guys are being critically hit. So every now and then she'll just jump in, do a heal, do a dispel and things like that. Second sister, not much else to say here. Just using her instead of eight brother uh, so Yoda doesn't steal stealth. Again, modding all of these guys for a damage, either offense, critical damage sets, whatever you've got, it should do. Uh, Fitbrad has got nice utility here as well. Uh, he's got an AoE dispel, which obviously uh, is always nice. And his uh, here special gives you some stacking protection up there, which is also nice, adding to survivability of your guys. Finally, you've got Nine Sister here. I just modded her for max protection uh, with all health set, just so you know she can take a lot of hits. As you can see, this already gives her like two, oh, nearly 250k combined health and protection, then add extra 66% of both health and protection from the lead. I think she's even getting something from her unique, so she'll be able to take a lot of hits uh, pretty much. Now, I want to talk about her uh, here, uh, special attack, not for worth my time. I don't really use this, I try to avoid using it. First of all, it will consume stacks of purge. Uh, generally, like all the abilities that consume purge, I, I try not to use them because remember, I want to have six stacks of purge on everybody, so Grand Inquisitor can go to town on them with their basic. But especially in the way versus Yoda, if you do use it, uh, then Night Sister will gra grant herself health over time. Uh, buffs and then you like can go ahead and steal them and he'll keep healing himself off uh, again for a couple of turns so definitely i do not use this ability at all so just wanted to highlight i don't think you should be using it as well anyway let's hop in the battle and you know it's a pretty straightforward to be honest battle uh it took me about 30 seconds to get a turn in the beginning so that's why i speed up the footage now we do get this event ability which is absolutely crucial there are really kind of uh, two components to this one is uh when you use it you will get some extra critical damage and critical chance. You will get an immediate bonus turn as well, uh, which obviously will allow you to quickly cycle through your special abilities quickly, you know, get, uh, reduce your cooldowns. However, most importantly, if you defeat an enemy during this bonus turn, you will get 20% offense stacking until end of the battle. So this will persist throughout all the waves. So the overall strategy is get everybody like into yellow and red and then try to finish them off with your Grand Inquisitor because he should be your main damage dealer here uh, because his basic can attack three times on, a, on an enemy that's got six stacks of purge and this is pretty much really the only strategy here uh, whenever you've got heal ability ready with your seven sister go ahead and heal up whoever is like the lowest on protection in most cases that will be nine sister but sometimes you know all those aoe's can get as well somebody low like uh, their especially grand inquisitor or second sister but as you can see the initial strategy is get six stacks of purge on the first uh, target again i'm not consuming purge here i want everybody to have six stacks of purge uh, there you go we got Jedi guardian in the yellow use the event ability take her down and now we got one stack of that buff which gives now extra 20 percent offense to my grand inquisitor after that, I move on, on to the next uh, Jedi. I think I targeted Jedi Consular here. Again, whenever you get a chance to heal up, do heal up with Seven Sister. Uh, so the target here is getting six stacks of Purge on Consular, if possible, before we take him out. If not, that's okay as well. 
So you can see he's in yellow, so I just let him be, saving him in for the Grand Inquisitor. There we go, Grand Inquisitor again using event ability. We got a bonus turn, defeated Consular during these bonus turns. Now we get two stacks of the buff, which means 40% extra offense uh, from Grand Inquisitor. And it's pretty much rinse and repeat, to be honest. The whole idea here is during first four waves, just get as much offense as you can over uh, on your Grand Inquisitor. And keep using this ability whenever you can, uh, if you do want to reduce, as I, as I just did there, your cooldowns, so you can get quick heal or, you know, quick, quick big hit on somebody. There we go, finished off a uh, Temple Guardian, we got 3 stacks already now on Grand Inquisitor. I'll just whiz through now for these first uh, 4 waves because it's not really much else to say to be honest. You know, once you got these guys relic up, they will have enough uh, damage, they will have enough survivability that until you get to wave 5 you got nothing to worry about. Uh, again, just applying the same strategy, keep getting 6 stacks of Purge on 1 Jedi. Uh, let him uh, then uh, Grand Inquisitor finish him off during his bonus turn from the event ability and then move on to the next Jedi and this is pretty much it constantly keep healing up using event abilities to getting bonus turns to reduce your cooldown so you can keep all healing over and over again with Seven Sister and then just let Grand Inquisitor go to town his AoE's torture and things like that and as you can see you know it's not even close as before even without Grand Inquisitor there were absolutely no issues for me uh, at all guys at Relic 5 to get to Wave 5, so definitely just spitting this through, I mean, is nothing really, to be honest, to say here, as you can see, we finished them off very, very quickly, uh, timing in a way that, again, Grand Inquisitor uh, defeats everybody. In general, as a rule of thumb, in these waves, you always want to go after the leader, uh, because as long as they're alive, the other guys get moral buff, which I think gives them some extra like speed, health, defense and damage, I think it's like 25% extra, something like that. And once you take uh, the leader, they lose those bonuses, they have low morale, so then, you know, hopefully it should be easier to defeat after that. Uh, but, you know, it doesn't, doesn't make a whole lot of difference who you go after. Okay, so now we are at the end of uh, the wave 4, so at this point I've got 13 stacks, which means it's my Grand Inquisitor has 260% extra offense, so he will be hitting pretty hard as, you know, this uh, event goes on. And now wave 5 is really the only tricky wave, I would say, uh, but once you remove 8 brother, Yoda can't go into stealth, so, you know, he should be an easy target from that point as well. So, they get a jump start to you, as always, these guys are very fast, it may take, uh, you know, a few turns before you actually get to do much. But luckily their fifth brother is counterattacking, so we are getting a few hits. Let's just go ahead, use event ability, keep going after Yoda. As you can see, we did a lot of damage to him, barely making any progress. Um, I don't have a taunt at the moment over a Nine Sister, so I'll just heal up here a Grand Inquisitor. I definitely want to keep those guys alive. Keep sp spamming those uh, debuffs. Again, try not to use abilities, they consume purge if you can. Uh, because of Shakti's constant healing, it was a little bit of a challenge to get six stacks of purge on Yoda. Uh, however, because she's constantly cleansing, purge off, this kind of fits their meter to your team. So that's okay, you just keep going. Let's see if we can get ability blocks. Unfortunately, no ability block on Shakti. Uh, but at least we got it on Yora, so that's nice, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead, use bonus turns so we can get to another heal straight away. I'm going to use a bow event ability so I get an assist first from Nine Sister. Uh, so then uh, Yoda couldn't evade there the AoE from Fit Brother. I got exposed on him, unfortunately there. Shakti cleansed everything, but this fits a little bit Termeter to the Inquisitors. And everybody cleansed off. Well, we'll just start from beginning, I guess. Uh, we'll just go, on. as you can see, Nine Sister tanking it, no issues here. Just basics. Let's start applying that Purge again, uh, just to build it up. Okay, Yoda doing his thing, that's okay, we'll get to him eventually. Okay, he's got his bonus turn, there we go, and Shakti cleansing off Termita for a team. Let's now land a Torture on Yoda, because I have Torture now available to use. Let's go ahead, ability block him, removes those uh, buffs, and now we use uh, this uh, event ability to get a bonus turn. One hit, two hit, three hits, nearly got him. I think that should hopefully put him down, and there we go, because of the uh, torture on him, he, he took bonus damage, so Nine Sister was able to finish him off. And once you get Yoda out of here, it's back to, to usual business, to be honest. Uh, getting those, you know, six stacks of purge, and then, you know, let your again, Grand Inquisitor go to town with these guys. Going after Shakti next, because she's, you know, annoying, constantly dispelling, uh, healing and things like that. And from there on out, pick, picked out the rest here. And once you really make it past wave 5, 
you know, the rest again is very straightforward, very easy. These guys don't really pose that much threat. Like, you know, Commander Sokatana could be scary, but without Genomastic Kenobi, uh, you know, uh, immediately resetting her cooldown. She's not insta killing anybody. Also, Rex, uh, you know, looks like it's the old version of Rex, so their advantage isn't as powerful. Uh, here, Genet look seemed a little bit scary, but you know, at the end of the day, it doesn't look like they have all their abilities maxed or something like that. Um, so just went after Genite look first, then I was going after Mace, now he's quite durable, Barris was constantly annoying there with the dispels, so probably if you want to make this faster, maybe go after Barris bef uh, uh, next after you finish off Luke, um, but still I know I may made it through, these guys don't have a, have a whole lot of damage, but I was just struggling to get in a lot of purge because uh, Barris there is constantly cleansing, but at least gives you turn meter when she's cleansing and she cleanses the purge you can keep applying it remember anytime we apply it we gain two percent extra to our stats so that's very nice and we are only in the final wave here i made a mistake uh, i actually ability blocked uh, kanan should have ability blocked maul so if you do get a chance to get a turn before maul with your seven sister to ability block him remove his buffs even at this point uh, if you would have already the ability block would be good because you could remove frenzy from him and like this now more got a turn i still won it wasn't you know that bad but definitely you could see things going wrong if you don't ability block more in the beginning uh, i was able to turn things around i'm like uh oh let's go after more uh the thing is uh mentally i wasn't really expecting more i just saw jedi i'm like let's go after kanan first i didn't expect more there uh, i forgot that he's there but anyway once you get more out uh, you know, there's no really threat for your guys. The only complication was that Maul, he did put buff immunity on my nine sister, so he was able to remove taunt from her, and that was really the issue here. Here, as you will see, Kanan, <laughs> because of such a big speed on the enemies, even if you do land healing immunity on him for two turns, he will outrun you eventually, and he'll be able to cleanse it off with his special. So I just switched back uh, over to uh, Ahsoka, and then I just once down to Kanan, I just hit auto, and eventually, there you go, 340k hit there. Uh, from Grand Inquisitor with all that stacking offense we you know gathered over the past waves and the stacking critical damage as well whenever we apply purged was enough that he just one shot Kanan in the end so once you're just down to Kanan hit out to play wait a minute or two and you know these guys will get the job done for you well guys hopefully this will be useful and helpful showing you how I easily completed here challenge tier 3 I was expecting it to be a lot more challenging but as soon as you took 8th brother out that Yoda can't steal stealth, the things became a lot more simple. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one, but until then, have fun, enjoy life, and may the RNG be with you, my friends.